Mexico's $2.6 billion high-speed railway. Hola amigos! Mexico is about to get a whole lot faster with a proposed high-speed railway that will connect Mexico City and Querétaro, two of the biggest cities in the country. The project isn't an ordinary train ride. It promises to bring a range of benefits that will not only improve transportation but also boost economic growth and reduce travel time. Fasten your seatbelts, we are about to take a ride through the proposed high-speed railway and explore its potential impacts on the region in Mexico. The background. Hold on to your hats because the Mexico City Querétaro high-speed railway is about to make travel between these two cities lightning fast. The proposed 210km long railway line isn't just any old train. It is a high-speed transportation alternative that will make getting from one city to another a breeze. Say goodbye to those three and a half hour long car rides and hello to a one hour journey that will have you feeling like a superhero. That's not all, this railway is expected to significantly boost economic development in the region with a projected 23 million passengers annually by 2050. It's not just about the money though, the railway will also be kind to the environment by reducing air and noise pollution from road transportation. A big win-win. The route. Mexico City to Querétaro high-speed railway will be very scenic and will have you stopping at some of the most vibrant and bustling cities in the region. The proposed route of the railway is jam-packed with exciting destinations, including Toluca, Atlacamulco and Irapuato, before finally arriving in Querétaro. But don't worry about missing your connections, this railway's got you covered. You'll have access to other modes of transportation too, including bus and subway lines making your entire travel experience a breeze. It's not all smooth sailing as the proposed route does face some challenges. Get ready to ride through some very mountainous terrain, tunnels and bridges need to be constructed, and hold your breath as land needs to be acquired too in densely populated areas. It is all part of the adventure. Technology. Get ready for some next level technology. The Mexico City Querétaro High-Speed Railway is not just a fast train, it is a futuristic masterpiece. The proposed trains are expected to travel at speeds of up to 300 km an hour, which means you can get from one city to another in the blink of an eye. The trains will be loaded with advanced safety features such as automatic train control and collision avoidance systems, which will ensure a smooth and safe ride for all the passengers. And guess what? The trains will be powered by electricity from renewable sources, which means they will be very environmentally friendly too. Along with these super-fast trains, the railway will require some top-notch infrastructure, including tracks, overhead wires, signalling systems and state-of-the-art stations that will make your jaw drop. Environmental Impact You ready to hear about the environmental impact of the Mexico City Querotado High-Speed Railway? While the proposed railway has the potential to greatly reduce air and noise pollution from cars in the region, let's not forget that building such a massive project requires a lot of energy and resources. Don't fret, project planners have anticipated this and have put measures in place to minimise these impacts. The construction of the railway will be done in a very sustainable way that reduces emissions and preserves local habitats. So in the end, the railway will not only benefit the passengers, but the environment as well. Economic Impact The Mexico City Querétaro High-Speed Railway is about to bring some serious economic heat to the region. This high-speed railway is expected to be a job-creating machine, with tens of thousands of jobs being created during the construction phase alone, and several thousand permanent jobs being created in transportation, hospitality and tourism. It's not just about the job market though, the railway is also going to open up new markets for businesses, making it easier for them to expand their customer base and increase trade and commerce between those cities. Let's not forget about the tourism industry, this bad boy train is going to attract tourists from far and wide, with faster and more convenient travel options, leading to a significant increase in revenue for local businesses from tourists. So it's safe to say that the Mexico City Querétaro High-Speed Railway is about to make it rain pesos for the region. The cost. Mexico City Querétaro High-Speed Railway is no small feat. It's estimated to cost a whopping 3.7 billion US dollars. That is enough to buy every resident of Mexico City and Querétaro 
a brand new sports car with change to spare. Funding for this project is coming from a mix of public and private sources. The Mexican government's providing 30% of the funding, private investors the other 70. While everyone's crossing their fingers for a smooth and on-budget project, there is always the possibility of unexpected costs or unforeseen challenges. Let's hope this project stays on track and doesn't break anyone's bank. Timeline. Mexico City Cuadratado High-Speed Railway is on track to be completed in just five years. That's right, this high-speed transportation solution set to connect two of Mexico's largest cities in lightning-fast time. The project is currently in the planning phase, but construction is expected to start soon. The construction phase itself is anticipated to take about three years, with another year scheduled for testing and commissioning. However, let's not get too carried away just yet. There will be unforeseen challenges that will cause delays and setbacks during the construction process. We need to buckle up and prepare ourselves for what will be a very exciting ride. The stakeholders. There are several stakeholders involved in the Mexico City Cuidatado High Speed Railway project. These stakeholders include the Mexican government, private investors, local communities and even environmental groups. Mexican government has a vested interest in the project as it is expected to provide significant economic benefits to the region. Private investors are also involved as they stand to benefit from the potential profits that the railway will generate. Local communities along the proposed route are also stakeholders in the project. The railway expected to have a positive impact on their local economies. There are concerns about the potential impact on the environment, as well as the disruption caused by the construction and the operation of the railway. Environmental groups are also stakeholders in the project. While the railway is expected to provide a more sustainable transportation option than traditional modes of transportation, there are concerns about the potential impact on local ecosystems and wildlife. Why environmental groups are one of the stakeholders. Public opinion. Boy, it seems like public opinion on the Mexico City Cuidatado high-speed railway is just as split as a tight pair of jeans. On one hand, there are those who are all hyped up about the potential economic benefits and the faster travel option. They can't wait to hop on the train and zip across the region at breakneck speeds. On the other hand, there are those who are a little more cautious. They're worried about the potential environmental impact and the total cost of the railway. It's like they're saying, hold up, cowboy, let's not get charging ahead just yet. Then there are the folks that are downright upset about the project. They are holding protests and shouting from the rooftops about how the railway is going to ruin their homes and businesses. Yeehaw! It's a wild ride of mixed emotions. Comparison to other high-speed railways. We are talking about the Mexico City Cuidatado high-speed railway, and while it might not be the biggest or the most expensive high-speed rail project in the world, it is still a very big deal. This baby has the potential to give the region a massive boost, economically speaking, while also reducing the carbon footprint of traditional transportation in the area. Let's not underestimate the power of this modest yet mighty railway. It is all about quality over quantity, right? So there you have it. Mexico City Cuidatado High-Speed Railway Project is shaping up to be a thrilling ride towards progress and sustainability in the region. While there are some bumps on the track ahead, with the right mitigation measures and some determination, this project surely can be steered towards success. We do need to buckle up though and get ready for the ride of a lifetime. Look forward to your comments below. Do you think the Mexico City Cuidatado high-speed rail project is a good idea? Do you have any concerns about the project? If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you'll always get the very latest from us first.